Hey everyone. So if there's one thing that I love about makeup, and let's be real, there's a lot of things that I love about makeup, but if there's one element of testing new products and trying different things that really excites me, it's finding something that's a little bit off people's radars, maybe doesn't get the same hype or the same attention that other products get. And I love finding something like that that's kind of lesser known, lesser talked about, but just awesome. And kind of spreading the word about it to my friends, my family, now you guys here on YouTube. And the products that I'm gonna be talking about today are actually from a brand that I kind of think as a whole is a little bit underrated, doesn't get some of the same love and attention that other makeup brands get. And it's a brand that I've had a lot of good luck with. I haven't tried everything from the line, but the things that I have tried, I've really enjoyed. And the brand that I'm talking about is the Ulta brand of makeup, like the store brand. And the products from that line that I'm gonna be spotlighting today are these Butter Balms. I have two and I'll get into the shades in a moment, but when you for I these just kind of recently came into my life. I just tried one on a whim and they're awesome. And I really haven't heard many other people talk about these on YouTube or just, you know, on a different blogs and social media and stuff and these are so cool. So, when you hear the name butter balm, you might think of something more along the lines of like a Revlon lip butter or something, because that's what I thought of, but they're actually glosses. And they have just a typical doe foot applicator that's a little bit longer and flatter than some of the traditional ones that you might be used to. And these are kind of unique to some other glosses that I've tried and the thing that makes them unique is they have a glossy appearance. Um, the one that I'm wearing right now is this shade called Luna. It's just kind of like a like a pinkish nude with the tiniest hint of mauve to it. It's like a like a pinky nude with just a little bit of like a dusty mauve -y undertone if that makes any sense. But I'm wearing it right now and I freshly applied another coat of it before I started this video but I had it on from a little while ago when I first did my makeup and then I just touched it up before I started recording but if you can tell it has the look of a gloss. It's shiny. These are not sheer. At least the two shades that I've tried. They're they're definitely I mean that's just one swipe as you can see. That's some nice opaque color and this is a a fairly light shade but as you can see it's not sheer. You know there's a lot of pigmentation happening and I can just go like once around my lips and get good color and be satisfied with the way it looks. Sometimes I will build it up a little bit for a little bit more shine, but I mean, really beautiful colors. And the thing that makes these so interesting is they look like a gloss. You know, they have that nice, shiny, juicy appearance on the lips, but they don't feel like a gloss. They feel more like a balm which is why I think they're so appropri appropriately named. You know, they're called butter balms because they have like a balmy feel on the lips with just like a hint of glossiness, you know? And I hope that makes sense, but you know, I put my lips together and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing any kind of like sticky or heavy lip gloss. It just feels like I'm wearing a nice rich lip balm with just a tiny bit of thickness to it. And I personally don't mind glosses that have that little bit of thickness and a, even a little bit of tackiness or a little bit of stickiness to them. I like that because I feel like it just adheres to my lips better and it has better staying power as a result. If there's one gloss formula or gloss texture that I'm not really a fan of, it's anything that's 
too thin and slippery and almost greasy feeling because I feel like those just kind of slide right off your lips. And while these aren't extremely tacky or sticky at all, they just have a little bit of thickness and they have a decent amount of moisture to them, you know? I'll have one of these on even after I've been wearing it for several hours. Some of the shine wears away, you know, this is a fresh application. So you can see it's fairly shiny and even after wearing one of these for a little while I find that some of the shine goes away but a little bit of it hangs around and a little bit of the color hangs around which is really kind of impressive for just a traditional gloss, you know? It will, you know, if you're like eating a full meal or something you will need to reapply after but if you're just doing maybe a little bit of light eating, sipping coffee, sipping a drink throughout the day, you know, some of it will transfer off onto a napkin or a straw or whatever, but they do hang around a little bit. You know, there's still some color, there's still maybe just a, a hint of shine if you're not like aggressively, you know, rubbing at your lips or whatever. Um, and I just think that they really can get you through a good part of the day still looking fresh, you know, maybe not like freshly applied, but looking nice, you know? And I think that's really cool, you know? And like I said, the texture, they feel so comfortable. So the shade that I'm wearing now, the one I've been wearing throughout this video and the one that I just swatched on my hand a second ago is called Luna. And the other one that I got, this one's a little bit newer to me. It's called Popsy. And it's maybe not that different <laughs> from Luna. Here they are, uh, side by side. Popsy's on the top, Luna's on the bottom. Popsy is a little bit deeper pink with a little bit more of like a purpley undertone. And neither of these shades that I have contain any sort of shimmer or sparkle. They're just creamy, creamy, shiny colors. And I'm gonna swatch Popsy here next to Luna and you can see that it has a little bit of sheerness to it but it still gives you some nice color you know and going on over your lips where the skin is kind of naturally a little bit more pigmented than the skin on your hand it really gives a beautiful effect and I was actually wearing this Popsy shade in my last couple of videos um, my hair growth video and then um I think my Revlon mascara review, I was wearing this with nothing else, you know, no lip liner, not layered over any other lip products, lipsticks or anything like that. I was just wearing this shade alone on my lips. So you can check out those videos if you want to see how this looks by itself. And I'm not wearing Luna today with any other lip products. I don't have any lip liners or any other colors. It's just this that you're seeing on my lips. And I'm really, really happy with that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that, you know, if you enjoy a nice lip gloss or a nice kind of rich feeling lip product, I think you definitely like these, but I'm gonna kind of go out there and say that I think even the anti-lip gloss person might actually enjoy these because they really don't feel like a traditional lip gloss. They feel, as I said earlier, more like a balm with just a little bit of thickness. But they're not sticky, they're not tacky, but they still manage to stay on your lips nicely and give you a beautiful, kind of a healthy, shiny, full lip look. So I think if you maybe like the idea of lip gloss, you like the, the look and you just, you like lip gloss in theory, but you just don't really like the feel and the texture of a lot of the ones that you've tried, you might enjoy these because they're, they give you the, the look of a gloss and that, you know, that nice, juicy, shiny look, but without the feel of a traditional lip gloss, these are a little bit different. So I really enjoy them. I'd be interested to try some more shades and um, they have a pretty good color selection. I want to say, I don't know, they have like at least probably like 12 to 15 shades. At least that's what I see out in my store. So yeah, and they retail for $8 a piece, which, you know, it's, it's, 
a little pricey for like drugstore makeup, but it's still a pretty good deal. And I think these are really nice. And if you haven't checked them out before, you might want to give them a try because I think they're really good and I've been enjoying them a lot over the past couple of months. So thank you for joining me or thank you for watching, I guess I should say. <laughs> Uh, let me know if you've tried these or if you end up trying them. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.